neither kings nor queens nor royal marines, the twenty-eighth on Friday. Right then, here we are, right at the top of the farm. Farm's just down, oh sorry, down there. Just got here. BOV's well loaded up. It flew up the hill, no problems. And put the tents, oh, just here. So we'll have two 9B9s and a bit of a different setup this time, so a bit unusual. So that uh, we can make the most of the weekend away. Weather's supposed to be good. Not going to be too much filming. So it's all about relaxing. She isn't. Right guys, 30 minutes later. All the kits off the top of the Land Rover. Well, nearly. Cut the solar lights out charging straight away. Been here half an hour. Tents up. That's a 9B9. One person, half an hour. As you can see, there's kit all over the place. But that'll be sorted soon. The other thing that's out is the solar panel, although it's not really good enough, but it's charging the battery, which is running the cool box there. Anyway, I'll bring you back when uh, I've done a bit more. Cheers, guys. Right, everyone, just uh, just dawned on me. I know everybody sees 9B9s and 12 Bittels, British Army issue. I just thought I'd give you a quick skate round them. Quite basic tent, real heavy duty canvas. The theory is that the gap that you're looking at there, you can back your vehicle into it, sort of designed for a 110 type Defender type Land Rover. So you can have your vehicle parked in there. You then get a, a hose pipe type device that goes off the exhaust so you can leave it running sort of carry on with radios and stuff like that so it uh, doesn't run the battery down and takes the exhaust fumes away. On both sides there's one of these windows and as you can see at the top here it's got um, a plastic covering that lets light in so if it's raining the water doesn't go come through this uh, mesh, this fly mesh, so keep the midges out and stuff like that. And then on top of that, there's a canvas flap as well. So when it's down, it's black as black in there. Black as arseholes. Um, anyway, Velcro around the edge for the see-through bit, and then Velcro around the edge for the flat bit. All tie up on these toggles. As I say, for people who are uh, know all about this stuff, you might as well fast forward for a minute or two. That's uh, done up all nice and tidy. As you can see, this is where the outer tent would go on if you were uh, if you had one. Goes into the zip here, it zips on there, and then that gives you another little bit of a bit of room for your vehicle to go in. This is the wolf version, the commander's tent wolf version, I believe they call it. It's uh, slightly bit higher because of the difference in uh, the wolf Land Rover that came in. Um, I just undo these toggles to allow you to, so the actual main door there zips in as you can see there and then one handed with the camera in his hand, oh look at that, like I've done it before for the past 30 years, so yeah, so they do up and uh, yeah, they're pretty damn watertight to be honest, as they get wet the canvas swells fills any holes and then allows you to uh, have a good good rest and sort it out in there but uh, this one is going to be our messing tent we'll use this for all the uh, feeding and cooking this weekend but easily easily get sort of a bed down there or somebody on the floor back in the day quite easily sleep six or to push nine people in here. This is what all the rents got. Get issued a 9B9 or a 12B12. And uh, thought that may be of interest. 
you can see the guidelines hanging down there because I haven't pegged them out yet. That's my next job. And then it's uh, my cup. It's nearly empty, so that needs refilling. Anyway, guys, I hope that's been of some interest for some people. Cheers. Right, welcome back. Right, guys, I've done everything I possibly can now. Just thought I'd mention my campcraft. I know everybody's got different stuff, but it's what I do. I turn up on site, keep working until everything's sorted. Everything I can do anyway. Can't do anything else at the moment um, because I'm waiting for me oppo to turn up with the uh, the other tent. All my solar stuff is see if you can see it actually. All my solar stuff is on charge there in the window of the wagon, protect it from a bit of rain. Got my solar shower there, won't be using it as a shower, but it just gets warm enough in this sort of weather to uh, take the, the edge off it and then uh, I'll use that to wash my hands whenever I'm preparing food or been to the loo etc. Hygiene, you can't knock it. Flies are giving me a bit of uh, hassle, so I've got the citronella candlelight, and that's uh, sorted that. All my stuff in the tent sorted. Now I know my oppo is about an hour away, so kettle's there, part boiled, ready to go on, ready for him, and uh, so I like planning ahead. And just to make life easy for myself, Wayfarer beans and sausage. That's going in there. And that's for me to eat now. And then I've got another one for me oppo when he turns up. But to be honest, for both of us, it's kettle on, cup of tea time. Cooker's out. Basics are out. But anything that I don't need or aren't going to be using is away. Anyway, like I said, I'm teaching anybody to suck eggs. Sorry about that, but uh, that's life. Uh, Going to use that for the first time tonight. Pick that up off Woody Wood Prepper. Awesome bit of kit. Used it one, not this one, but used one a couple of times when I've been away, and they really work well. This is uh, purchase this for me, mate. Anyway, need to move the fridge in. Because uh, it's sat out in the sun and then uh, put the solar panel outside. But apart from that, I'm done. I have something to eat and a cup of tea. I hope you're all having the same sort of weekend that I'm planning on having, which is going to be a good one. Cheers, guys. Guys, when I'm uh, sort of waiting for the oppo to arrive, I thought I'd. I'm quite a fan of solar stuff. So I've got the solar panel down there keeping the fridge or the battery topped up so that the fridge works cool box sorry but I recently purchased some of these things they're not meant for what we're using them for but uh, you know you adapt and overcome don't you this was from a supermarket 10 quid for two and basically it's meant to go out on your deck in the uh, Batteries go in there, it's like a light alloy, although they're quite meaty. And you meant to screw them to your deck in and it lights your decking up. There's a the uh, the lights are on both sides, so you can get them to work. There you go, just coming off. And again around the other side. They give off quite a little bit of light. Um, meant to last for 12 hours, yeah, right. Um, some oaks last for a few hours, if I'm honest. Um, LED, obviously. But the worst thing about these is there's no way of turning them on or off. So moving along then. These were for Mazda as well. I think they were, in fact, I know they were, 12 quid for four. Um, beauty of these is they've got an on-off switch there. One battery, and again, when it goes dark, the idea is that, yeah, they're on. You probably can't see it in the daylight. Let's have a look. There you go. 
two LED lights. So that's the theory is that I'm going to use those tonight. They're out here on the car charging up and uh, see how they work tonight. Now the thing that I've had, well I actually I've got two of these. This is the solar panel which charges up this thing. It's got four LED lights in it. And uh, to be honest, I'm quite impressed with this. I've I've got uh, <coughs> sorry it flies. I've got two of these, and hopefully you can see. There you go. Obviously, bright daylight's not working so well, as in the light's not working so well. And that uh, I've got that in a, an outside storeroom. It's just enough to have a rummage through and see what's going on without sort of getting lights in there. But uh, yeah, I've got a, the Go Zero there, Goal Zero, charging up some batteries, which again will charge my phone up. And then I've got a charger here, which again charges my phone up if necessary. So that seems to be the main thing that uh, we need. Nowadays, keep the phone charges up for the internet and everything else that we're trying to get away from out here. But anyway, I'm waffling now, guys, and I'll uh, I'll speak to you soon. Cheers. My Oppo turning up. I reckon. Yeah, must be he's got a weak bladder, he's gone straight to the toilets. <laughs> there he is. Sorry about the wobble. No commentary, sorry guys, got nothing to say. Disappearing just out of view there, and there we go. Straight up there, no problem. Standard road tyres, fairly standard, it just got, uh, I think they're winter tyres actually. Right, let's start getting a bit of work done again. Cheers, guys. Right, guys, here we go. Here's a final setup. Discovery up there. 9 9 and then we've done something a bit different this time. We've put a tarp over the top to give us like a seating area, and next to the 9 9 there, and then the other truck down that side. So it's nice and symmetrical. Obviously, just like that sort of stuff, everything in a nice line. Big pile of wood and offcuts and stuff like that with the solar panel there generating the, the uh, electric. We've got the sort of kitchen in there. And uh, the sort of setups what we've got is a couple of Coleman cookers because everybody knows how good they are. And a Caddock. Uh, gas stove as a backup and we've got also got the wood but that to be honest that's just for more for effect and uh, a bit of warmth and stuff like that tons and tons of water gas cylinder down there this is all food and cooking stuff and cast iron cooking and lighting and petrol and bins and stuff like that now we're underneath the uh, the top which gives us our sitting area if it does rain or whatever. Nice couple of chairs there, plenty of room, but we'll be out in the sun. And then the thing that you haven't seen is the sleeping area. We've got the matting on the floor, spongy matting, so when you get up in the night, as a bloke of my age does quite often. And then we've got uh, the fishing beds and a small storage area down the bottom for your kit. 
and the fishing bed outside. So that's our setup. Windows, as you can see, make a hell of a difference when they're open. And then I'll turn you around, and that's our view. Guys, you don't have to go to this extreme to have all this sort of stuff, but why would you be sat at home? And we're right on the wood line there, right on the edge of the wood line. Right, if there's anything else worth mentioning, I'll bring, it, bring you back. And I'll leave you with that view down there of the lakes. Cheers. Right, fire's going. But tonight we're using all the cookers. So we've got steaks, beans, gammon, all sorts going on. Happy days. Won't we going hungry tonight? And that's to sit around and keep us warm. <laughs> Life's a bitch, isn't it, eh? Cheers. Right, here we go then. Night routine down in the forest. Fantastic evening. All the woods going quiet behind us. We've eaten, we've drunk, and we're fairly a bit merry as well. Woody wood prepper for a stove there. Drop the sides of the tents down so that uh, the bugs have stopped coming in. As you can see, it's a lot darker in here. But just so that you can see, those are the solar lights that I was talking about earlier. So they're just giving off enough room so that you can sort of go in there, sort your life out, and then come back out. But uh, we're having a cup of tea, we're going to have a, a beer or two, talk some more crap, and... Uh, you won't get anything else out of me tonight. And if you go over there, that's Wales. God's country. God's country. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got an Englishman and a Welshman stuck up on the top of an hill. On the English side. Yeah, just on the English side. <laughs> Anyway, cheers guys. Right guys, it's uh, now Saturday afternoon, well into the afternoon actually. Uh, it's quite a nice sunny day still, uh, it's fairly warm, but the uh, I must admit we've got a bit of a wind today, but uh, nothing sort of blown away or anything like that. Setup's nice, The uh, everything we've done has been good. As you can see, nothing's really changed on the setup. Uh, been cooking using the, uh, the sort of kitchen area, but uh, we've just dug out obviously with the landowner's permission a nice big uh, cooking area for later on. I'm going to cook uh, probably a curry or something in there. Happy days. Get a fire going, I'll bring you back when that's uh, up and running. All the solar stuff is out charging. That all worked well last night. Uh, one of the, if I'm honest, one of the, oh that one's turned round, but one of the solar uh, lights, I think it was that one there, died after a couple of hours, so I wouldn't invest in those, but the other stuff worked well and uh, stayed on for most of the night. That's the solar panel from the, the three lights. That one works off remote control, but that the, one, the solar panel I just showed you is from uh, that one there and that worked well into the evening and it, well it never died at all so yeah it's uh, we've decided it's time to have the first beer of the day and if you're a sailor I think the the sun is over the yard arm I don't even know what that means but uh, 
and as we're both ex-army, I think it means that uh, you can drink beer at any time of the day. Anyway, I'm waffling on, and I'll leave you with a closing shot. Uh, some bloke stood there underneath that tree branch there, having a fish. They've been pulling the trout out left, right and centre. But uh, if the day goes well, I'll bring you back later on when we're doing a bit of cooking. Cheers, guys. Right, well, we decided it was uh, time for something to eat. So we got the fire going. Nice lumps of wood on there, burning down to uh, coal so that we can start doing a bit of cooking and stuff like that. Probably a, a three foot trench there. So that'll be uh, us scoffing and having a few beers in a bit. So happy days. And then uh, if you're vehicle mounted, guys, I really would advise getting some sort of spade shovel. Oh, well stuck in the ground, but some of it, you know, whether it be something like a cold shield, steel shovel or whatever, they're all fairly uh, a decent price. Or just get something from uh, that you use at home, you know, and take it with you. It's just so handy to have in the vehicle. But uh, in all honesty, been a great weekend so far. And... Uh, Making videos is a bit of a pain, to be honest. It gets in the way. But uh, not, not a lot's happened. The sun's still out. The sky's still blue. There it. Oh, there is a cloud to spoil the view. But never mind. Anyway, cheers, guys. Bye. Right, it's time for the evening meal. Just seasoning me uh, Dutch oven there. Getting it nice and warm and use some vegetable oil. Just waiting for the coals to burn down. So it's sort of more manageable. Put some coals on top of the uh, Dutch oven there and just going to make a chicken curry to be honest. It's nice and easy. Probably do some uh, burgers and some just chopped up some onions. So they're doing nothing at the moment. One last blowout, everything will go in the curry I expect as well as the chicken just to uh, finish off the day. Tomorrow morning, up, quick breakfast, then we'll be on the road later on. As you can see, the weather's been kind to us. A bit of rain last night, but not too much. Sorry about the wind noise. Solar panel's done us well. You can see it's charging there. What panel it's done well, but not good enough really. But uh, the old solar shower has done as well. Keeps our hands warm, uh, warm, sorry, clean. And uh, yeah, well, if there's anything else interesting happens, guys, I'll bring you back. But uh, I'm going to be eating and drinking and relaxing. Cheers, then. Right, so. Coals are burnt now nicely. Well, everything that we had left has gone on the fire, to be honest. All the wood. And then in there we've got uh, an all-in curry. So everything we've had left food-wise, everything's gone in the curry pot. Nice curry sauce in there. And then we just, uh, well, actually we're making a brew as well. So another sort of half an hour and that'll all be cooked. Balance in there on the... Uh, Woody wood prepper trivet. So uh, that was good. That's all the wood we've got left. And the obligatory cup of tea going on. Lovely job. Bon appetit. Cheers. Right then, final day. And we've been blessed with a bit of sunshine again. But uh, all the water that we're not using, or not used, is going to go into the fire pit to make sure it's uh, well and truly out. And then we'll fill that out, fill, fill that in. So that everybody's happy to uh, have us back again. Both vehicles have now been moved into a nice easy position to uh, fill them up. So we don't have to carry stuff. Point to note that is 
in all honesty it's worth mentioning when you're buying a, a vehicle of this description if you're going to use it for this type of thing obviously with the discovery there the door opens and it's uh, only opens one way and it gives you restricted access so if you're on the on the slope as you can see this, the spade there is holding the door open because it keeps closing I know I could have parked the vehicle the other way around but with this uh, with the Nissan Pathfinder it's got a nice big hatch open in there and the, also the rear doors open nice and wide it's just something worth considering if you're going to go for a 4x4 but uh, yeah happy days everything's going to be brought out packed away and uh, I'll bring you back probably just for the final clear up cheers right then as per usual here are everything's tidied away a bit of flat grass left pit all filled in no rubbish around but uh, that was our backdrop it's nice the wind breaks up the wind although you're probably thinking it's not because it's blowing like hell now and we're just all done and it's just starting to rain anyway hope you enjoyed the video Guys, if you can, get out there. Cheers. Right guys, end of another good weekend. All good things come to an end, they say. So, uh, on our way now. I'm oh, just leaving the campsite. And, uh, yeah, job done really good weekend hope you've enjoyed the uh, video footage I know it's been a bit hit and miss but to be honest when you're trying to enjoy yourself and relax making a film can be a bit of a, a bit of a pain but uh, yeah you can see the, uh, the farm there in the distance and uh, that's us done letting the vehicle take itself down under its own weight I'm lucky enough to have a a hill descent enhancement thing on here so and it works well so uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, thanks for doing your videos and I'll watch them and comment like I hope you do cheers and bye